everybody and welcome to another episode of Mad as Goat. I haven't got my goggles on today. It's going full cross-eyed. Yeah, two in one day. Two rants one day. Wait, got that the wrong way round. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing another rant, another one within the same day, is because recently I made a video titled and in protests goes wrong or something like that. I basically, in a sense, just kind of diss the whole feminist movement. And I would just like to go on the record as saying, huh? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of common sense to me that women should have more rights. Wait for it, you sexist fucks. This is the reason. Think about it. Just think about it logically. Why are women more valuable than men? Because they create the life. Which is more important, the garden or the seed? Think about it. You know, when you really get down to it, you know, we're just a seed factory, okay, fellas? It doesn't mean that we're less people and, like, if we get murdered, it matters less or anything like that. It just means that women are more valuable to sustaining the human race, and I assume that's most people's goal. Although with me, I'm not really too worried about it. We're here now, we're doing our thing, just be grateful for that. Whatever happens later, those people would deal with it. If we try to deal with it now, we may go in the wrong direction and make it even worse. For instance, people didn't have, back in the day, things like electricity and heating and all the creature comforts that we have today. So people made, you know, the Industrial Revolution started and now we have all these things. It's a product of that. It started then and now we're at a point where we're destroying the Earth. Basically because of that, because we took it a little too far, maybe we'll do the same thing with making, you know, you, you can't change everything completely. I mean, you got to admit, the whole feminist protest thing has come a long way. I mean, women went from basically being slaves in a sense. I guess you could kind of call it that. You get married and then you're going to sit at home, you're not allowed to have a job or vote, but you're just going to listen to your man and do as he says. Even I think that's kind of fucked up. I mean... Yes, in the back of my mind when I'm dreaming and I'm having sexy time inside my head, I have a woman who is kind of like that. But would I want that in reality? N no, because if I wanted to hang out with someone who will do everything I say, it, it just it seems boring. I want someone who wants to do different things. Why would I want to keep doing the same things? Isn't that why you meet people so you can kind of change yourself in a sense? Get used to different flavours? If you had someone who was completely submissive with nothing to say, no personality... <sighs> Maybe that's why back in the day, and older men usually fall asleep straight after sex because they're used to the whole thing of the woman being completely submissive and having no personality, so there's nothing really to do after sex apart from sleep. But I'm not saying I'm new age or completely unsexist because I will concede to the fact that when a woman is looking sexual, you know, when they look good, if you know what I'm saying, I am one of those males who cannot continue to concentrate on anything they're trying to say or any point they're trying to prove and that is why I was kind of against the whole unleashing of the mammary glands as a form of protest from my perspective. Maybe it's not all male. Males. Ooh, sex is pricked and I can't talk. Anyway, so that is my sexism. I don't think women are less, like I stated, I think they're more valuable and I respect women, you know, when I see a woman in the workplace, I'm not a pig going, look at that ass. I'm just like, normal. But, within the sexual context, whenever anything sexual arises, and for me that includes mammary glands. I don't know why, maybe it's an instinctual thing, maybe I'm kind of like a caveman, I see mammary glands and just do blank my intercourse. But maybe not with all women, I've got to admit, you know, I used to be a PCA working in an old folks home. When you see an 85 year old naked, it's not happening. That's where my sexism has a kind of normality to it. It's attractive women that, when they do it. And I, that is kind of worse in a sense, isn't it? How, like, I'm not just a sexist prick. I'm, sp <laughs> I'm specific with my sexism. If you're an attractive woman in the similar age range to me, you're an object, but not really just when it's sexual. I'm not sure if I'm sexist now. See, sexism is very complicated for me because women are equal, but a bit more valuable. But when sex is involved, all I can think about is their vagina. Is that sexism? I'm pretty sure it is. They're equal though. I still would, you know, treat them as completely equal. You want to go shopping? Okay, but I gotta warn you, I'm going to complain. You know, I'm not like, you know, they can do what they want. I'm not sure if I'm sexist. I'm really confused now. I was trying to 
elaborate on my point and make it more concise, but instead I've just confused myself. And also, I would like to address the fact that the shit I was talking about was basically incorrect. Women aren't doing that anymore. I got all the horny people all excited. Women are still exposing their breasts. No, they don't do that no more. I'm willing to admit I was wrong. Oh, now no one will like me. Fuck them. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm really confused and, uh, yeah, I think I'll end it because it's not really good to rant when you're not sure what you're saying. Mad as a goat. See you, darling. <laughs>